Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and yep, today I'm trying to share about the new skill from the third job for the uh, guillotine clutch, right? Uh, feel free to ask me a question or if you would like me to test out something and I will try to uh, demo for you right so there are multiple of the new skill that available for uh, the third job and before that i do a showcase let me go through with you one by one uh, so for the dual dagger there are only few skill that you should look over um from the left to the right the first one is a covered uh discuss right is able to take up the uh the attack uh, while you are hiding so it's not like a uh, previous when you are hiding if you get the damage then most likely you will be uh, show up right even that uh, you have the enhanced hiding or whatever right so uh, yeah so once you get up like lightning chain or storm gas right casting by the wizard or some of the AOE skill that appear in the GVG or uh, or PVP, right? So you will be so up by having this skill, uh, you are able to uh, sustain for few attack, uh, as well as have the final damage reduction by a certain uh, percentage. If not, uh, if not uh, wrong, I think the maximum is up to twelve attack, and it have up to fifteen percent of the damage reduction so it's quite useful for pvp but for normal uh, farming for the uh, for the monster i i don't think that we need that particular skill right because this is a passive skill second moving on you will have another uh, passive skill called as a glue step or um this is something uh, very useful to me uh, when we go for the pvp uh, if you look at the description, it's mentioned while we, we are hiding. So, uh, we were getting something called as a wind walker, right? Wind walker over here for ten second. So as long as your uh once you are hiding, you have these uh status for ten second, and then once you attack uh to certain target, that particular target will get, uh uh will get the additional heavy damage so what is heavy damage over here which i'm going to show you uh, in later time right um so who are taking any uh once is having this kind of status uh we can deal additional uh, uh percentage of physical damage equal to the max hp of the uh, target right um so it will be quite useful uh, when we are in um, in PvP so maximum if not mistaken let's go try on it right I have it in my PvP uh, loadout so this have a 10% maximum is 2% uh, less 30% or less healing effect uh, let's go try into a training section we take uh, this one since it's not uh, applicable for the boss or whatever so i will not take a uh, boss as a as a sample right um so hiding then you attack can you see the damage over here uh it's like so huge because the it's two percent of the target hp right assuming that we take one of the uh one of the monster i think uh normal monster uh joker joker have four million plus of the uh hp uh so i think it will be useful if we take joker as a target so when you attack you see the total damage that it will taken is 463 right so if i don't use this one i use poison let's see how many damage that it may been taken up right so just now you can see uh 
uh, let me reset once again hiding poison so it's about 801k so the it's keep getting the damage of the every 2% so right now it's up to like 2 million of the damage so as long as uh, in pvp uh, we are uh, keep hiding throw poison run away then it's still dealing the damage right hiding attack again so the damage is quite uh quite nice in terms of uh, things right uh yeah so this is one of the uh uh wing walking things uh wing walker that i think we should max it in, in our pvp because uh the only thing is we need to get the effect by having hiding so you can see the logo on the on the profile over here right it's have having a 10 second we can attack so it will inflict with a certain uh certain uh things in the target in the body let me turn on the effect so that you can see the effect from from on the monster let me kill this one hiding throw damage you can see the red color thing on his body that is the heavy damage effect so once it's gone we hide again throw see that hide again Inf inflated then we can use whatever attack it's a two percent of the hp so uh it will able to get like a uh, multiple uh times right um for the six second within uh your first attack of uh, uh will deal additional heavy damage so within the six second this target will be uh getting more damage from your side so uh if we hide again attack then we spam whatever the skill that we have so it will get like uh depend on your damage within a six second it will take a lot of damage from this skill step so just doing a normal things that like you can see quite a high number of the damage over here right so yep so i believe these two you should use it in, in pvp but it's not really useful on uh, um, living for the monster uh, farming because you are not really hiding quite a some time and 2% of the HP of the monster is very minimal but um, for uh, for PvP I think 6 seconds every second you will take additional 2% on top of your damage then it will be quite a lot right so yeah this is how the skill going to work um then we have a hallucination walk or something like a dashing so you are able to dash over on uh toward the target something like this and you are able to stun it or immobilize it so just now you can see the monster have been stopped for a while right um let me try it again make it i change to other profile so if you look at it probably it will stun and immobilize it will make people stand it over there for two seconds there's a chance on it so not guarantee that uh, it will get the the effect right so it's still about regular physical damage about 300 percent 
uh, for 60% of the chance to immobilize them for like 2 seconds so the effect is same as like the mirror image so we are able to uh, immobilize them for 2 seconds but for mirror image it's definitely for the 2 seconds but for this hallucination work it just have a 60% of the chance so like right now I try 2 times it's not working uh, let's try it one more time and see whether there is a chance, success chance um, Again, okay. yeah, I think it's casting not really sure, but let's try again. The only weak thing is about uh on the third job, all the skill fixed cooldown is quite hard. Yeah, it's immobilized for two seconds, so there's a success uh success scenario. That's now it's not moving, right? So. This is a total duration that required 40 seconds of the cooldown. So, um, it's not easy to achieve a, a high, uh, a high cooldown without any good refinement, right, or, or cut effect. So, 40 seconds definitely is uh, one of the longest, uh, one of the maximum uh, cooldown that is same as a mirror image. Um, but good thing is you can uh, dash it with the 6 meter and you can uh, stun some of people without anything but the damage is very minimal uh, as you can see just 200k only um, later I will I will talk whether it's apply the poison thingy or not right uh, another one is a uh, cost impact I think this is one of the major skill that coming from the for the third job um, yeah so it's all, also a uh, is it AOE skill so it's able to inflict the, the skill on the enemy within a 3 meter radius so if you look at the skill right now if I showing so it's just something like a meteor assault or a venom knife so but you can cast it over like that so it's AOE within that radius within a 3 meter radius you're able to deal the damage right so but this is there's a one catch for this uh skill is about the six percent of the target loss hp if the target have lesser hp this skill will deal more damage right so if i try just now just now it's 600k right now it's 692k right i try again 700k so how this work is basically depend on the target loss HP that is a minor a year in additional on top of the 300% um, so uh, this will be very useful when you are trying to deal on, on last hit or whatever uh, not really for the boss uh, it's not applied for the boss but it's applied to those instant uh, uh, mini like in a dark lock instant right or this kind of thing so 800k right now so the number will keep increase and increase uh, i did try a dark lock uh, uh, version and able to deal, uh, deal a few million of damage so um i think it's quite useful and another one thing is you are able to teleport from one to another side right i can i can just jump it over to here although it's not doing the damage but yeah so in pvp or gvu you probably you can run away from there right uh but if you are going use for the uh um, for the monster i think you still can use it especially the uh, aoe skill so it's infected for all the all the all the monster in in, in the same way this um yeah but the damage is not really uh huge right um, later I will show you again uh, before and after the, the enchant poison see whether there's any effect or which skill have uh, taken the poison poison enhance okay uh, okay next is about this one black claw this one is only useful for the kata synax uh, or kata gx right it has a 36% of the chance to inflict with the additional wound so once you have it you 
there's a, a mark on a something like a claw mark on the monster so once you have it you can deal additional damage right this will be last for two seconds but it's able to stack up up to six times so six times time i think maximum damage deal on the critical is six percent so it's total about 60 36 percent of it right I think maximum is go to 6% and 30% of the chances um, so it should be quite quite decent to me uh, but for critical definitely it's able to increase the damage quite a lot but not for dagger so dagger you know require to level up this thing this is a passive skill as well right another uh, passive skill is this poison research max right this is additional poison damage that will be ticked uh, per every second so um last time we have a ensign daily poison which additional 20 percent of damage then there's one of the uh regnum we were having the tick for five uh for six seconds right so this one poison new poison research is able to get uh eliminate the the limitation of the poison tick so um even even the hp of the target is less than 25 uh 25 percent but it's still a uh, effect right um so continue to use this uh, uh it's good right uh example i put it poison over here The, the tick damage from here it will not really like stopping it will keep continue to inflict to the monster until the monster is dead um so it's quite useful in pvp um as long as the poison is still there then it's able to tick until it dies but your poison definitely will be able to last for 10 seconds so every 10 seconds you should throw the poison on top of the monster once again right so like this one right it's keep burning until 10 seconds then the poison status will be gone so if you as long as he having the poison status it will take until 10 seconds maximum but last time when it have the until the hp reach until 25 percent then it will stop right this one will not stop it will keep uh without the the hp so we will see two damage over here one two four hundred k per tick so it's quite useful to me um and i think this a uh, must add uh for the passive skill right but in order to add this you have to level up this uh weakened poison resistant uh but this only applicable to the normal attack people um but yeah you, you you need a total of 15 level to to get the maximum of poison research right this is additional 20 percent so it's quite useful uh, but yeah you have to spend another five level over here which you will not really use on it uh for the skill build of the uh guillotine cost because is it's mentioned over here is dealing a normal attack right so it's just increase the chances to inflict the people with the poison so last time in enchant poison there's a, a a trick over here there is a 12 percent of it right 12 percent of it um so with with that you are able to have better chance only right it's not really have a uh, uh, addition damage from here you just increase the chance to inflict the poison and it also will increase the effect by the poison by two seconds or maximum is like three seconds if yeah so it's not really uh useful you just have to level it up to up to five then you should stop you know your maximum it because it just increase the chance it's not an increase of damage so it's totally different thing so this one definitely i'll ask you guys to stop it at level five then maximum your poison research right uh another five skill are basically the active skill where which you have to cast it uh, only a deadly means a passive skill this one are uh, related to a uh, poison smith or people will call it as a poison smoke um if 
uh, let me explain in the detail first. So it's granted the enchant state poison, which is this one. When you enchant poison, you usually have a two kind of poison. One is enchant poison, another is deadly poison, right? So deadly poison is able to uh, able to deal uh, additional damage, like other damage, the tick, right? One people have been inflicted with the poison, then you are having the tick, like you are so looking over here the other damage over here. So this is a an uh, deadly poison thingy. Right, and some poison will not really affect the other damage over here. So the poison smith is turn the deadly poison to the um, uh, poison smoke. So once you have a poison smoke, is having like a weapon need uh things right. So we keep inflict people with the poison, but it's up to five seconds. So uh, but this one basically is uh, trying to increase the damage of this smoke. So the smoke is like 3 meter radius, same as almost like the venom spread, right? Uh, but it, it, over here is a 15% of your physical damage. So uh, it's up to 6 seconds. So not really useful in um, in PvP or, or, or certain scenario. It really depends. But 15% is not really high, but one of our shadow equipment, we are able to increase the damage on it. So it's able to increase the damage for addition 4% and duration as time was 1.2. So if you level up, you can get additional 5 up to 5.4 and one uh, and additional to 0.2 or duration. Um, so when we will use it, uh, definitely if you did watch my previous video, there is a one of the uh, scenario where I'm farming, I'm using this skill. Um, because there's another passive skill for this one once you killing a target with inflicted of with the poison so the poison smith or poison smoke will form up right at the point that they did so definitely it will keep trigger and trigger the poison smoke in that particular area so you can kill the monster much more faster but if you are a single target person like a katasin x or ASPD uh, attack speed of the dual dagger sin X, you should level it up for one to two level in now. Level one is able to create up to three ring, right? More level is created more ring only up to twelve. So you are able to handle twelve monster at the same time if you are able to kill it really really fast. Um, how is a uh, really useful? Uh, uh, I can show you one of my sample. Uh, how I'm farming my uh, uh my my monster right now, I use it as sting. I level up in sting right now, right. And once I create the smoke over here, probably I can use this poison split, inflict with poison. So you see, the poison will keep creating the poison smoke over here. So I don't need to cast any skill, but the uh, the sting will be just killed by the all this poison. Can you see that? I didn't cast any skill anymore, and I stand over here. Right. So this is the uh, useful thing of the uh, poison smith, but provided you are able to kill them fast, right? So, like my scenario, you can see uh. Even though I don't need to cast anything, but the monster will die just like that. Right? But if you are killing a monster uh, with a high or long HP, uh, I think Poison Smith is not sufficient to kill them. Um, but uh, you have to pick, depend on your profile. Uh, so I cannot say a, a lot of things over here, but yeah, if your profile are good enough, I think definitely you are able to, to cast on, uh, create all these kind of things. But yeah, probably if you are fast enough, then you can take two spots just like me, right? Uh, but if I'm not fast enough, then you probably just stand it in the place, at the place that the uh, monster revive. So even though you didn't cast a skill, because monsters come close to you, and they is still within the, the poison smoke area so they were just dying uh just like that right um 
so the damage is like quite decent uh, to me so this one is good for afk farming right um i did try a, a sum of matter in in obil in instinct i able to take up to three spot right but the best one is a two spot because it's up to 12 wing that to be created so in order to uh, to take three spot because one spot there are five uh stings monster five monster over there then you have to throw the wagon spirit in every uh, every every spot so you are able to take up up to two uh, three spot if not then you probably just take two spot and it will be good enough right just like that you know you do anything and the monster just die okay um yep so this is about poison smith and daily smith so they are the combo if you are not really require a, a lot of wing like you are kata you are farming three medium monster you just need level one so it will just create up to three uh, poison spoke whenever the monster is die with the poison right uh as long as they are within the poison smoke definitely they were inflicted by the poison itself so it will create an unlimited loop of the poison smoke right um so very useful for this one and gvg is i found it's also very useful especially when you try to uh, attack the castle and you go to an enemy spot where they revive or they spawn up or at that particular point you just have to kill people over there then the poison will keep uh, respawn and respawn because when they respawn the hp will be very low right uh, just probably have a 10 percent of hp then you just have to casting whatever the skill over there and you are able to kill most of the majority weak uh below average people right um so it will be quite useful for gbg but pvp is not really because the map is so huge and yeah so it really depends on how you're going to use that right okay right then let me try to change to other monster let me stop this one where is the dummy 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 where's the dummy i cannot see dummy what happened to my web let me end this or else the poison will keep continue to be there we enter the training ground find the dummy why the dummy is not here okay okay next uh this additional uh, splitting blade uh, one of the major skill for the glutting cost and the good thing i think it applied to kata and dagger especially for kata very beneficial uh is because this skill can't be without any variable cooldown so it's only have the fixed cooldown with the 12 second so kata you will not worry about you are not enough haste or whatever so you can just spamming every 12 second right uh, same with the spinning cross impact also without any cooldown the rest of the skill like this one 40 second 40 second right uh this one passive passive this one also got cooldown uh no cooldown only 24 this one passive passive so yeah hero nation walk uh cross impact have cooldown up to 40 seconds but spinning all the spinning skill related no cooldown so kata sin l will really benefit from here and this one you will if you are critical kata definitely much more benefit because every hit by a critical it will granted you two spin so right now you can collect up to 10 spin right but if you are kata and have it when you're spinning and hit a critical you will get a, a two stack so example over here spinning right so right now you can see i got 10 stack already right just now i got critical if without any critical then it's only like one step one step one step right let me try it once again yeah okay the debuff gone uh sorry this one is a and the following skill so let me speed again one two three four five six six stack 
only for normal dual dagger without any critical this is the the major weakness for us as a dual dagger but for critical uh, kata sin x i think this uh, spinning skill will be very useful because you are able uh, once you have the critical damage when you are spinning you are able to collect uh, more yeah so right now yeah 10 stack already right now especially uh then you will throw uh, this cross impact right so the cost impact one hit is like one million something but it's depending on your uh your spinning count and and uh and your 60 600 percent of physical attack so it also can result in a quick uh damage as well so um for katasin this one will be really overpower uh because it do not have any variable cooldown and it taken the damage uh, critical damage as well and yep so i think you should really go for this for the kata synax but for dual dagger synax um to me is is recommended to level up but not in the urgent uh in the urgent way so by what you should focus on your passive skill this spinning thing is is kind of like um how should i say because depends on what kind of things uh, you want to do but for farming i think it's useful um uh, but for pvp it's not really useful because when you are casting this um you uh you are open for three seconds so you are spinning rapidly with a weapon in hand for three seconds right so within this second you cannot cancel the thing right you cannot move you when you're moving you're still spinning blah 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 you cannot cancel so people are hitting you very hard if they target you within you are spinning right so um for monster monster will come and attack you automatically so you definitely you can collect whatever the spin right but for k in kvm and pvp when you are trying to spin uh, people already run away from you already so you are not really able to collect up to 10 uh, count for dual dagger um, so i would think that the spinning thing is kind of like weak for us you hardly do to get that um, unless those kvm people are not moving so you are able to collect and add on on, on top of this cross impact this spinning after you collect all the spin point from this spinning blade it up to 10 right so every step it will give you additional 60 percent which means you may up to double of this skill normal without spin right let me try a uh, normal without spin so without collect any any spin i throw a damage 685k right so if i spin it right now i collect the spin count 10 count over here so you have 12 seconds to, to to deal your damage through it so you can up to 1.1.2 or it's critical so it's non tricky non tricky because my trigger damage is low i'm a dual dagger right so if there's no non uh, non critical damage for this spinning cross impact you are having 1.370 so it's double of your 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 things right um so to me in order to get this you need to have five level of this i believe so you need to have five level let me let me check once again huh? i change out the local yeah you need to have level five of this then you only have the have have this one so dual dagger i will suggest you to pump all this spinning up to level 10 uh, definitely have to go to level 10 no point for level 1 or 2 because level 1 you just having a 240 uh, 40 uh, damage every every level is should able to add 40% uh, of the uh, percent so let me change back low out so when you are level 10 it's up to 600% of the physical attack so it consider one of the uh, main uh, main a major attack of the skill right so for now i think you should able to understand it right 
um, okay last one is a counter blade so let me change other monster which able to attack me attack it right how counter blade very really useful is when I cast this it attack on me or oh, it means wait no how come it's missed on me wait should i use okay counter blade again attack it will collect the 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 thing the blade on you so right now got two blade then after that you will fly out the the things on oh my god wait i cannot use it maybe Let me try counter blade attack. Did a player no it did not collect anything. Yeah counter blade. So it's just 40k. Um if you get attack when it's casting for that, it will cast back the the the, the dagger back the flying blade back to the uh, target so uh, 75 percent of the blade so you can collect up to six or i think it's six blade yeah six blade so it also have the chance to block the physical damage so probably that's why you don't see uh, i i get the damage just now uh, but let's try again counter blade so surrounding i have up to seven i think yeah, by now I'm collecting the blade. Four seconds, blah blah blah. Right, then after that you will cast back the things. If you collect the, the blade, but if you don't, then it will not deal any damage. It just wasted. And the fixed cooldown is about 24 seconds. So if you ask me whether this is really good or not, um. I would say it's not really uh not really useful to me but uh especially for aspd thing people so um yeah you you will just get hit very hard by this one and you will not counter anything it's like you see right now i'm not counter anything on on from from here so um so i would say it's like totally useless for this skill right uh, if i didn't collect the things so it probably able to block the things like okay 40k so it's low even lower than my normal attack so that skill is not really to 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 deal a major damage to people but it is more to block the damage physical damage huh? so it's not useful to against those um, uh, magic people but it's able to against like Lord Knight, uh, White Smith or whatever but you try to fight against with the sniper uh, 6 hit is it's quite fast I mean 6 hit is just about um, I don't know how to say uh, because we are summoning uh, how many blades that we have let me try again uh, where's my dummy dummy So how many blade that I have? One, two, three, four, five, up to eight blade. I think seven to eight. So is it very really useful? Um not really sure. Um yeah, 75% of your physical damage. So it's quite useless in terms of damage, but it should able to block the damage, right? And even our shadow equipment we have this kind of thing. 
uh, increase the the chance to to block damage uh, and reduce the additional twenty one percent. So it probably can reduce the damage of fifty one percent up to fifty one percent. So right here is a thirty percent of chances to so increase additional six percent thirty six percent. So one third of the chances that you can block the things. Um. Uh. Yep. That's all only. So, but you against those like ASPD job, uh, totally is quite useless because, um, uh, the the damage that you do is quite fast, right? Um. So yeah, it's quite useless. Okay. Um. So right now I'm trying to show you the differences. Uh, which skill will be taken the advantage from the poison? Uh. So we have so many skill right here. So we have. Uh, Hell Nation Walk. This is a passive skill that I mentioned. We have Cross Impact. We have Splinning Blade and Splinning Cross Impact. The rest of these are more likely is a passive skill. So Counter Blade, yeah, I will try as well. So these are five uh, five things that we will have the thing. So before that, let me test it one by one. So that you see before uh, I have enchanted any poison. Let's see what is the damage. 300k for the Heroes Nation War Spinning Just for one side 1 mil, right? This one, cost impact is about 100 or also 1 mil, 1000 uh, k of damage uh, Then next is about the cost impact Cost impact 793k of the damage so i'm trying to spend it once again uh, uh, spinning for only once let's see what is the total damage so about 990k so it's about 1 million so when i cut it with the a stack 1.2 so you just guessing there uh, 1 million something like that so right now we try to enchant poison right so three four three two three nine so it's the same as previous so hell nation walk will not benefit by the poison and hunt right or poison and chance no matter what you say is it not benefit from that so it's dealing like a neutral damage on top of it so let's see spinning so yep right now you can see the spinning two million so spinning will be take effect the take poison effect into it right originally is about 990k right now 2 million something right decent uh let's try about the spin cross impact 1.6 so before just now even the spin is on 1.2 let me try on with the spinning get up to 6 to 8 count then i throw okay Okay, got 10 stack, then I cause impact on it. 2.8. Yup. So both of the spinning blade and the spinning cross impact, it will take an effect of the enchant poison. Right? Uh right now lastly is the cause impact. Six million something. Oh, okay. I should not take this as a sample because um wait, let me try Try on another two side. This because cost impact will counted with the lost target HP as well. So let me try on another uh, this one. Right. Oh my god! But just now I can see it's uh, eight million on top of on here. Then let's try on. Probably I change target. Um. Blah blah blah. Because here got three monsters, so it's easy to take counted one of it. I take, uh, yeah, boss will not take the damage from. So I close the AI. Right now, without uh, without any enchant poison. Oh shit! Once again, let's wait. 
is taken 40 seconds available cooldown and right now I have about 32.6 which I actually lack for 7 seconds then plus a fixed cooldown in 12 seconds so it's about 20 seconds on the cooldown unless uh, my dragon killer able to reset the cooldown or else yeah we have to wait about 20 seconds of it so it's about 337k of the uh, damage right so right now I enchant poison, I change monster and change back because it will take the lost HP so I don't want to get that take infected right so yep no taken poison enhance effect right it's the same whether you are enchant poison or not enchant poison so right now you will know what kind of skill you are going to use uh, which will be improve your damage so yep so i think that is what it is right so i can show you how i'm going to farm for my uh, leveling right now basically uh, i having um i go to sting or, or big right uh, so that i can farm the job uh, experience right now and my job level right now is 14 level and my own target is up to 20, 20 level so i have additional skill point to level up most of the passive skill right um yeah so uh sting is one of the job uh is under small size and it is a earth level which i can benefit from that quite a lot so i just have to throw on poison uh then they will inflict with the poison and create the poison smoke over here right so if i throw like that i stand over here stand in center of the two spot it will just keep attack and killing the the sting right the poison smoke will just create it and and kill them sufficient enough um just like that okay so yeah if you are able to kill them within uh, while they are moving toward to you then you are successful uh sin uh, sin x or gx in order to use poison smoke to kill a monster um i found it's quite use very useful uh, um but yeah you can learn this kind of stuff but if you are kata sin x or or, or or ASPD Synex, so this will be not really a benefit to you. Um, yeah, right now you can see I, I don't really attack, even I off auto attack. Uh, the sting will just pawn and, and die within your poison smoke. Right. Um, yeah. So this will be very useful on those monsters that have a low HP. So for a long HP, definitely you will, you will just use a poison smoke to assist you. But not kill helping you to kill them uh, only only the monster with a low hp aspect on a small size uh, monster then you are able to use kind of strategy to, to do your farming right it's not kind of hack but it's just to skill things and depend on your 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 profile right so yeah even you're moving you are keep it are uh, able to kill them and hp regen blah 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 right um for pvp uh just now i have my loadout where i tested it uh that's my initial reset after i i changed to third job and my skill loadout basically uh, uh, a skill almost the same i have the enchant poison then i have my counter blade at the last point and then i control uh, hiding and roll away right over here is a melee style of it, blue force slash counter blade. So because I put as the skill rotation based on the skill list order, so after heavy time and turn the poison, then it will summon the counter blade, right? So that it will follow with the random split, so I can throw a poison on people. Then all these are the range skill random dark, so it's try me an image, right? Uh, Hell Nation work is trying to make me to, to, to dash here and there so that I can avoid some of the rigid uh, Stormgars or AOE skill right 
this one is a close impact also in trying to change people and teleport to that particular enemy so I can continue to use the melee skill on top of it so that's my style uh, of course here the process meanwhile also my plan is for GBG and, and KBM so that's why I level this up um, but if you are not really useful not really require this then you probably you can use on other other places poison research is your max thing right uh this one weapon splash you no need this anymore because it's not really required because this will remove the poison uh, effect will remove the poison effect so you not really use it so remove it material assault not benefit from the poison enchant so no need to use that mirror image will still use that because it's able to immobilize uh, people for two seconds so um once you throw the poison people run away then you try to mirror image um it will stay inside your poison and taking the damage so i think it's still quite a decent skill for for a dual dagger uh, soul destroyer definitely is a must uh, because it's a range skill that able to attack from uh, about 12 meter so definitely the skill that you must level up this one and one day person 20 percent definitely you are must go away try to do it within your your variable cooldown right uh it just increase the dots uh, after if you have level up higher level so uh, dots right now is not really useful uh, only useful for those uh and sniper but their hit are quite quite high enough to um to attack us as well so yeah this one just for avoiding the enemy attack only and entering the hiding mode so you can take effect of the uh glue step right um the rest of the green tooth you no need to use that anymore because um uh, a lot of people have the opium card so you are not able to stun people anymore so just avoid this uh no need to use that enhance hiding when you have the um uh higher skill point therefore you have to level it up because if giving you an additional uh duration for you to use whatever the things as well as uh, you will receive lesser damage right so this one is very useful but um you just need to have uh, uh have some additional skill point uh. For enchant poison by right you not really required to level it up for full but you maybe level it a few because a uh, higher level is just giving you a, a, a higher duration and actual damage on the poison but on the normal attack um, only normal attack will be taken uh, effect from from here so um the rest of this for us like a skill play we will not really benefit from the additional 25 percent that is not applied for a skill play yeah um, so the only benefit that you get is 120 second for your enchant poison so you can save your poison but even though required properly you just have level one or level two also sufficient Hiding mode, I will make it uh, as high as possible because you can have a higher speed of the movement speed. So you have 125% of movement speed. Right. Uh, improved dogs, um, same as well. You can improve your movement speed as well as an attack while you are gonna attack by people. Uh, blue force, I think I will remove it, but for now, I in in my KVM partner I think I will still require this skill uh, just to slow people down but in fact the damage that deal to people is not really high now and a lot of time you were getting pushed away by people so melee skill will be quite um, useless uh, in, the, in the future so this one uh, I think we can think so uh, you, you guys can think whether you guys want to take this or not um, or else you just level one just to the purpose is just trying to slow people down and yeah no other effect at all uh, the only things that you can benefit is your shadow equipment 
when you having this one you using a brute force and your pp fire damage will be increased by three point three point something percent all right but uh a lot of time is only able to last for 12 seconds so your skill rotation must be very well planning uh, so that you are able to maximize the output from there right um yeah for now i think i will still reset my thing uh, because um there are some of the skill are not useful at all especially like poison smith probably is not useful um so you can just remove it and you up to a spinning cross impact because it taken poison effect um yeah poison research definitely you have, must have so if i need to maximize this i need additional 20 level of the skill so i have to deduct from somewhere else right um either one level from here uh right and left hand definitely this a minimum level that you require to 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 equip your two dagger so left right in order to uh increase uh enable the left hand so you must have four level here so you cannot detect from there um the only thing that i think i could uh uh remove is uh the skill that does not have any effect like this one have mission work maybe i will just remove it right um because this one is having the channel of 60 percent but it's only good for you to to move here and there so you are able to dash it over right uh probably you can keep it at level one so in the skill combo when the job you have additional two uh, slot for this combo skill so here are the only skill that you can put inside a combo so like cross impact you cannot use that in the combo um the hallucination walk you also cannot because any skill with the direction like this one have the direction you are not able to put in the combo skill so the combo skill are those skill without any uh without any uh any something like this you can jump or teleport no with this kind of skill you cannot put in a combo um so the things that you can put in a combo like a uh, spinning and spinning cause impact is you are able to put in a combo no no way uh, the rest of it are, uh, uh, are the are the passive skill um so if i want to level up these two the only thing i can give up have nation walk i have 10 level i transfer to here five level and five level here so i need additional five level so i might think of to get this uh, five level from this uh stay hidden um you might not really need a, a 10 level of that but the only thing uh only benefit from here is you can have the final damage reduction by 15 percent so um most likely if you level it up to five level so uh you will get up to 10 percent of it uh you lesser another five percent so probably i will give up the five percent from here and to level up to max my spinning cross impact because spinning cross impact is a range skill with eight eight meter range skill so it's almost equivalent as a venom knife uh when that oh when that is trial so when that and the soul destroyer is a trial second so it's very useful for us to chase people slash we still need that because it's still one of the highest damage uh skill from for our synax right um so i will still remain on that and in the shadow equipment when you go for pvp definitely you use this one to slash people so uh people can decrease the healing uh, effect right if i is able to heal like 30k so it's left only 21k of the uh, healing so consider quite a useful thing so. and grace that also additional can remove the the healing effect uh if you look at the full level of it um it able to reduce additional 30 percent of it so if you combo with your slash so it's able to reduce up to 60 percent of the healing effect so yeah the combination is is useful i think this real step you definitely have to level it to max right uh, poison enhance cross impact is useful if not mistaken it's able to cross it break it over to a firewall of the region 
so you no need to worry about the widget um, and the good thing is about the cost impact is able to uh, get a uh, addition bonus of the target loss HP if the target is having a low HP you just use this skill on top of it therefore you will benefit from that um, yeah but the only thing that is very bad on the cost impact is uh, the variable cooldown is very very low um, okay so I think I have explained quite a bit on the um, on the things but the only thing is like uh, uh, for the farming just now I show you how I use the poison smith or poison smoke to do AFK farming uh, for PvP uh, that's the way that I'm trying to use uh, which I'm going to reset once I have the reset skill point uh, for MVP loadout, I don't have any much of the changes. I still remain as it is, but the only thing is that I increase the poison research, which this one will definitely increase our DPS. Um, the the rest of the thing, I think this one real step, I think I might need to level it up. Uh, mirror image, I might not really need this one in my PP lookup or material assault. I will remove this because. Anything that without taking any damage from uh, taking any effect from the poison, I will remove it. Um, so like ambush, I will still need that. Uh, brute force, I will remove that because for MVP we no need to brute force people. Uh, so I can have an additional ten percent or ten level from here. Uh, this one I also remove that because this will not benefit from our. Um, from our our skill the only thing will uh, benefit from this additional damage right is on the normal attack so um and the additional duration of the poison effect so last time i just level up for that purpose but after that i think i will when i reset i will not use that two things and uh, material or maybe material then i will use these two right uh, and the cost impact although cost impact will not really take a lot of impact but yeah i i think for for mvp i i think i wouldn't use this one as well uh, because yeah the 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 cooldown is too long already so probably i will skip but i will try to um having this one because this one will having additional damage for six seconds so you just have to hiding run through uh hiding attack the mvp then it will having additional damage although the damage will not having a percentage so yeah i'm not sure whether it's work for yeah it's, it's mentioned it's not applicable for the mvp and mini but yeah um, yeah i'm not sure i haven't tried on that then probably i will see how but i think for mvp you can use this because this have a chance to block your physical damage from the mvp so probably this will be useful for for MVP or mini hunt, right? Um, Hell nation walk, yeah, it's not really useful. Uh, so anything without any poison will uh will not take any poison in in into a calculation. I think I will I won't level it up anymore. Um, uh, what's more? I think that's all for my explanation and the showcase of the new skill. Um, so, yep, if you have any further question about the new skill, feel free to, to ask me in the question uh, in the comment below, and I, I try my best to um, to reply you on top of it. Um, yeah, other than that, I think that's all so this is my existing profile that you can see right here i having um uh upgrade awakening tier 6 already uh which have a p attack about 40k um i'm doing an enchant enchantment right now and and yeah some of my my string have dropped into uh others like uh the the, the reason I want to do this is I want to do Enchant Awakening 4 so yeah I'm trying to finish my Pontella Enchant then I will move to my my armor uh, my accessory 
accessory and weapon as well to bring up the enchant level up to uh, all is uh, at least uh, level 9 or total is 27 level right then I will focus my uh, poison again so my poison has level 7 already it's just I'm not going to do that right now because it's quite expensive um, and I could right so boy, yeah. then the second let's see what's the thing that I'm doing so my battle achievement so I have unlocked 3 items over here uh, firstly that one is a string 48 second is a weed right the third one is a poison enhanced for 20% right um, so I have last one is for defense type so I have 2 uh, to be unlocked by this week doppelganger I already complete left only in order uh, once if I able to unlock I get the shield illusion spa then I will unlock that uh, for cold I already collect all men then I can get this figure damage reduction for 60% another one is uh, angeling angeling I also unlock all the item like kill within the top 5 uh, five percent of it. Uh, thanks to the um, the help from the uh, my server wheel that carry me to unlock all this kind of thing. So this one is target for the magic damage reduction. Uh, order I already have it. Uh, this one I already have it. I put in my uh, my warehouse. So um, I just waiting a, a, a good timing and to unlock that right. So I have all these kind of things so that I can use it. Co I have 100 plus, but I have some co one and three, uh, one and three, yeah. So therefore, I think I will level it up uh, by this week for the damage reduction. Um, yeah, I do. Uh, if you ask me whether I do the refinement or not, yes, I did, but yeah with the entry drop things but problem is um uh it spent a lot um i did not manage to level it up same as my my tackle um still remain the same so i will do it only when i i have it and the rest of my plan for pp i have uh pp accessory with one opio, one hammer, life steal. So that will be cheap. I will have opio and life steal. So right now I'm trying to level, uh, upgrade this steel to, to tier two, so that I can put additional elite cut, or uh, also physical life steal cut. Because I think that's important when for KVM or P or PVP. Um, so in KVM right now I got. Uh, about 36% of the PP things uh, are life steel regen so I hope I can get put at this one one slot uh, in my accessory which is this one but it's need a lot of go to so yeah I'm still wondering which one that I should go either for the skill play or the ASPD play because both need the two things but for I think for PvP skill definitely is a better way. So in order to handle that, I will uh, upgrade this black dragon pearl. So it's require hundred eighty pieces of this one. So it's quite difficult to get that lah. But uh, but for mini coin, I think I have to collect slowly. I have some of the uh, mini coin box as well, uh, which able to give fifty pieces, and I think that I got. At least 200 pieces uh. just need some time to go collect here got 65 then i have additional four chest where's my chest box uh, uh, here so here i can get the supply right yeah so I hope I can get as soon as possible. So this one definitely go for me sixty five. So yeah, after that, uh, probably when I need to craft it, I need to buy it. Uh. But for now, 
goal is the the major concern. Okay, I think I share enough. Then yep, another plan that I'm going to do after I think a priority I will unlock a better achievement right now. Secondly is about my pet. So I'm trying to advance my pet to uh three star. So every advance is about two percent. So it still need about seventeen percent, which is about eight to nine click on that. And every click is require about hundred k on that. I think, uh, sixteen k, sixteen pieces of this, uh, thirteen, thirteen k. Then this one, how how much is that? This one eight pieces, fourteen. So it's about thirty k plus forty k. This one ten k per pieces. So it's about seventy k, uh, seventy k per click for advance. So. Uh, I still need about eight to nine, at least nine lah. I would say nine. I uh, nine clicks them, them seventy k is about six hundred six hundred k that required. So six hundred k, I can manage to level up to three star. So I can try to evolve after that. So every evolve at ten is about hundred k. So I think it's time for me to do on the pet so I can get the, uh. Better, better, uh, back better improvement in my in my profile because, uh, wolf, uh, definitely can give me, um, better uh, things lah from, right? Is is giving by the percentage thing. So if able to increase like twenty percent or P attack or pain or whatever, so definitely it will boost a lot of damage. Uh, because right now the servo is just giving the the fixed value of things. So, yeah, um, right, okay. So at the same time, I also have the uh, I have, I have six pieces of the grab. I think I can try to to catch the monster right now. Let's try. Monster where's uh. This one Christmas, not this one. That's my pet. Yeah, this is the pet thingy, and I'm trying to catch the yo yo. If I able to catch a yo yo, then I might not I might stop my evolve of my diesel wolf. Uh, but of course diesel wolf will be the first priority because it's giving the pen uh pen for me and the haste. So um forty. Forty second of the cooldown will not be in a big issue, right? After this, so, but let's try on. I think I have sufficient grab for for yo yo. Let me check once again. Uh, where's my, where's my item? Let's check all. Do I have enough or the? Catching things, I think. Where is it? Or oh, maybe I don't have a. Uh, hey, where's my grabs? Yeah, I got six. Okay, so this one you can collect from Kingdom Pass, uh, definitely. So, from there, then you can try to, uh, you hit the target. Right, then you try to attack until minimum HP two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you can try to catch it. Wish me luck. Yo 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 yo. Grab 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 grab. Okay, fail. Um. Yeah, it's just about all RNG, so it's not easy to to catch a pet lah. So like this one, I feel then it's about hundred eighty k of the uh, your crystal it has been gone. Bye bye. Um. So this one is just try luck. So yeah, if didn't get it, then just waiting for every week. You can spend like hundred k in the future, just to evolve your your pet to to desert wolf. From baby to desert wolf, so this one also equivalent to like uh yo yo, yo yo is giving, uh, 
Yu Yu is giving a P attack, uh, attack speed and P damage bonus and quick bonus. So I'm not really beneficial from here, but um, I can get attack and P damage bonus, right? But for Wolf, you can get P damage bonus, attack, and final P pen. So these will be very useful for us, like a skill play, a uh, skill type of the player. Right, so yep, I think that's all. I believe I have shared more than what I'm going to share already. So I hope you guys have understand all the all the things about the um uh about the new skill from the third job. And yeah, stay tuned and bye.